In today's gospel, we find Jesus in conflict with some of the Pharisees on the meaning of the Sabbath. Jesus' disciples are breaking the law because they had gone to the fields, plucked some grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate the grain. The Sabbath law, according to the interpretation of the Pharisees, was clear. No one was to engage in any sort of our work on the Sabbath. It was a day of rest. Jesus' understanding of the Sabbath is much different. Jesus desires a Sabbath that brings about newness of life, mutual understanding, peace, greater compassion for the sick, the poor, the abandoned, the alienated and marginalized. Jesus wants a Sabbath that takes a break from conflict and violence, from judgment and condemnation of others, from greed and selfishness, from power and control, from oppression and bondage. For Jesus, the true Sabbath is living and keeping with God and with all people, regardless of race, nationality, ethnic origin, language, or way of life. This kind of Sabbath recognizes the God-given dignity of every human being and their sickness of life from the moment of conception to the natural death. This Sabbath, created by God, transcends the human, economic, political, social, and religious limitations individuals and groups often impose on others out of fear, competition, and indifference. When Jesus says that the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath, he is redirecting our gaze toward the beginning of creation and the source of the Sabbath. Jesus' teaching on the Sabbath reveals the eternal vision of God for creation in all humanity. God intends to recreate the world and humanity through the saving work of Jesus, his Son, and this saving work finds its culmination in his death and resurrection. We have come to the end of another busy week of work and little time for Sabbath. We can honor God's Sabbath and keep it holy by attending church to be with Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath, in prayerful celebration of the Word of God in the Eucharist, and remember the Sabbath was made for us and not for man. As disciples of Jesus and pilgrims on the journey to the kingdom of God, we need the Sabbath to keep us in the God zone, where creation and humanity are constantly being re-energized, renewed and transformed, into the image and likeness of God's love, compassion, mercy, and peace.